There are many ways to stay up to date with your information sources. Social media offers subscriptions and will notify you about new content in their apps. Some websites offer browser notifications and others offer email newsletters. There is, however, a technology that was created in the last millennium that can deliver a similar functionality and is available in Microsoft Outlook. It is called RSS. RSS, or really simple syndication, feeds allow you to subscribe to news, blogs and other content directly in Outlook. Imagine having your favorite website deliver updates straight to your mailbox. That's what RSS feeds do for you. You may have seen this orange icon when browsing the internet. This is the RSS icon and usually means that this website offers an RSS feed. Adding an RSS feed in Outlook is easy. If you see the RSS feeds folder directly in your quick access pane, you can simply right click on the RSS feeds folder and choose add a new RSS feed. If you do not see this folder there, you can click on the more apps button and choose folders. You will then see all folders available in your Outlook and can right click on the RSS feeds folder there. The third option is to go to the File tab and click on the Account Setting, Account Settings option. Go to the RSS feed tab and click New. All these options will result in a pop-up window asking you to provide the URL of the RSS feed. Paste the URL of the RSS feed you want to add, then click Add. In this example, we will use the RSS feed of liftyourskill.com. It is very easy https liftyourskill.com slash blog rss Voila! You have just added an RSS feed to your Outlook. Since the blog on your liftyourskill.com has a new post for each new video posted on Lift Your Skills channel on YouTube, you will get notified each time there is a new post and will see it directly in your Outlook. There is also a way to subscribe to an RSS feed for your favorite YouTube channel, even though Google does not make it very easy. Each channel has a hidden RSS feed which can be reached through the following address https www.youtube.com slash feed slash videos xml question mark channel id equals to channel id You will have to replace the channel id part at the end with the channel id of the channel you want to subscribe to How to find the channel id? Open any video from the channel and view the source of that page Search the source for the following text External channel ID. The string that is shown after it is the channel ID to be used in the RSS feed address. So for Lift Your Skill, the address would be like this. To find out RSS feed addresses for other websites, simply type in RSS feed and the website name in your web search engine. If you want to modify settings for an RSS feed that you have to subscribe to, simply go to the File tab and click Account Settings, Account Settings, select the RSS Feeds tab. In the RSS Feeds tab, select the feed and click Change. Here you can customize settings like the folder where the items are saved, how often to download new items and more. You will see the same window that would appear if you click on Advanced when adding a new RSS feed. In most cases it is best to leave these settings unchanged. The automatically download enclosure for this RSS feed is a potential security threat and the download the full article as an .html attachment makes sense only if you need an offline copy of the article as such, but the offline copy does not always work as it should. If you want to unsubscribe from an RSS feed, that's also straightforward. Go to the File tab and click Account Settings, Account Settings. Select the RSS Feeds tab. Highlight the feed you want to remove, then click Remove. Confirm the deletion and you are done. Please note that the folder that was created for your RSS feed and the existing entries there will remain, so you will have to remove them manually by right-clicking on that folder and choosing Delete Folder. Of course, as RSS feeds become folders in your Outlook, you can perform the standard folder operations on them and also standard operations on individual entries, as you would do with, for instance, emails. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of what RSS feeds are, what you can achieve with them and how to use them in Outlook. Make sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.